an arena that's hosted many an amazing game of basketball. It'll be interesting to see what spectacle these two teams serve up for us this evening. We're underway here in Group A of the Basketball Champions League. Final game day, Galatasaray taking on Dinamo Sassari. Sassari take the win. They secure their place in the playoffs. So a huge amount at stake for the Italian team. Good ball movement here. Macon. Shot goes up from Trice, gets the score. Nice fluid start to the game for Galatasaray. Oh, nice spin on the baseline by the big man. He's been doing it all season. Miro Bilan goes straight to work here. It's just a quick footwork. He reads the defender well, feels where he is on his back. Spins to the baseline, gets the score and draws the foul. Hands his way to the free throw line. 83% free throw shooter, Miro Bilan. Veteran Croatian knows how to score the ball, that's for sure. And there's your commentator's curse. Getting it out of the way nice and early here. Trice now finds Macon. Williams sets the screen, but it's come off the leg of Macon. Good defense there in the end from Gentile. Spisu hands it straight to Trice, an unforced error. Tries to the basket, doesn't get the score, and a bit of a get out of jail free for Marco Spisu there. Men just now looks to drive to the basket, has to come back out though as the door was closed well by Brooke Motum. Bilan, nice cut, good ball movement. Men's just open, wing three. Oh, and it's good. Smart start for the Lithuanian. Real awkward matchup. Can pretty much play two through four. And Mantis Benjus. Trice now uses the screen well into the corner. Quick catch and shoot. There's no good for Kirksel. Gentile. Good ball movement. Both teams working well offensively. And Bieland's going to draw another foul. He is a problem. Williams is going to get blown for that one. The American just wrapping his arms around Bieland. Bieland using every one of his 31 years of age and experience to draw the foul on. Williams, instant change for Galatasaray. Emil Jefferson's turn to see if he can wrap Bieland up. Shot goes up from Spisu. Slightly short with that attempt, though. Good quick hands in the passing lane from Gentile. But it will remain Galatasaray ball on the sideline. Selfless play here. Kirksel to the basket. Kicks it back out. Wide open for Macon. No good for the three. Galatasaray, best three-point shooting team in the Basketball Champions League. Shooting exceptionally well from outside. Shot goes up and he's good. Showing some range, Marco Spisu. Confidence in his shot. Prior to tonight's game, 62% from outside. Nice smart move by Brook Motum. Very experienced Australian. Played at the highest levels of European basketball. Oh, Gentile with a smart mid-range pull-up. Looked to be a tough shot. Almost had to correct his action as the defense came from behind. Kirksel now has got the mismatch against Benjus. Pass comes out to Motum. Motum drives down the lane, hands it off, and an easy score for Emil Jefferson. Scored 15 points and pulled down six rebounds in his first Basketball Champions League game against Bakken. 
Jefferson did. Good quick hands and a good read by Motum. Trice now, and another good pass. Foul's gonna be called on sportsmanlike foul, called on Gentile, I think. We'll wait for the call to be confirmed. Unsportsmanlike foul has been called. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks like one from that camera angle. So Jefferson will head to the line for the shots and Galatasaray will take possession. Jefferson misses the free throw. First of his two. Hits the second, maintains his 50% free throw shooting percentage in the Basketball Champions League. Galatasaray to take possession as well. Macon now. Sassari defense is working well. Dealing with the spacing of the floor from Galatasaray well. Macon for three, gets a shot away, draws the foul. Gentile going to get called for his second, two in quick succession for the Italian international. Going to send Macon to the line for three three throws, 85% free throw shooter. Daryl Macon. Points of the game for Macon. Really has been leading the way for what has been a tough season in the Basketball Champions League for Galatasaray. Daryl Macon, almost 19 points, four rebounds, and three and a half assists a game. He's been trying to do it all. Gentile left on the floor, even though he has two fouls. Bilan looks to dish it inside, but the pass. Back in from Benjus is no good, and they're out of the race. It's Kuxel with the easy two in transition. Floats to the basket. Galatasaray take the lead. First points of the game for Kuxel. And Tile, good ball movement. Spisu for three. No good. Rebounding battle. Bilan ends up with possession. Hands it off. Oh, and rejected. Good defense by Jefferson. And Burnell's attempt is swatted away. Macon for two, nails the two. Worrying signs for Sassari. The lid's been opened on Macon and his scoring. Can be a long night. Men just now. It's going to look to back down, Macon. The double team's going to come across. They exploit it quickly, but rotate well. Galatasaray's weak side defense helps well. And for a team that's not known for their defensive prowess, that was a good phase of play as Kirksel makes the criminal mistake of stepping out of bounds. The lane was wide open. Would have been an easy two. Let's have a look at the footwork. Yeah, that right foot just stutters back. Here's the defensive play from Jefferson. Wrapping up Burnell. And there's the jumper from Macon. Such elevation for that jump shot. Takes him clear of the defense. Gentile gets it knocked away. Another great defensive stand from Galatasaray. But it's stolen back, and Bilan with the quick outlet. Spisu will get the easy, uncontested two. A real back and forth run and gun affair for the last couple of possessions. Just over four minutes left in what has been a brisk first quarter. Olmaz in and out. Jefferson hits the hardwood. Burnell now. Then just for three. 
Not this time for the Lithuanian, and the foul's going to be called on him instead as he breaks up the transition from Galatasaray. Smart foul, really. As they had the numbers advantage. Here's the previous play, and yeah, Benjus is lucky not to have a foul called against him. Palm of his hand into the back of Jefferson. Not sure how much pressure he applied, but the officials potentially could have called him for that one. Arslan's come into the game for Galatasaray as Kirksel's gone out. Trice now, just quick feet, gets a lane, drives in, the finish isn't there. Olmaz can't get the finish either, but the foul is going to be called. Let's have a look at the replay, no foul in that situation. I think the foul is going to be called reaching over the back from Burnell. That's going to send him to the bench. His first foul. Only the second team foul of the quarter on Sassari. Paul has at the line for two shots. First appearance in the Basketball Champions League this season for the 24-year-old big man. Third, third season for the senior team here in Galatasaray. Starting to make his name. Shot goes up and shot is good. Olmaz found slightly asleep on the defensive end by Benjus. Didn't step out quick enough. Made to pay. As that three ties the game up. Make on for three is no good. Tough shot in the corner. With a defensive hand in his face. And just tries to draw the foul. Officials having none of it, rightfully so. Slightly too contrived, the action for from Vengeus. Travelling violation, I think he's going to be called on Amish. Let's have a look. Is it the little hop as he steps through? Yeah, both feet need to come down and lifts his foot before releasing. Travelling violation. All tied, just under two and a half minutes left here in the first quarter. Spisu for three. Another big outside shot for Sassari. Gives them the lead again, and remember how important this game is. Sassari's fate is in their own hands. They win and they progress to the playoffs. They lose and they rely on Tenerife bailing them out. Good offensive hustle by Emil Johnson. Another offensive rebound for him and the score. Takes his tally to five. Katic, nice pass into the corner. No good, and Galatasaray will come back with it. A real back and forth opening first quarter we've had so far. Neither team claiming control or dictating terms either. Slightly scrappy start to the game. That shot from Jefferson really wasn't in his wheelhouse. Didn't have the confidence when he let it go. And Bilan is an absolute terror in the Basketball Champions League. Olmaz is going to get called for the foul as he tries to rough Bilan up. The double team came across from Jefferson, but Olmaz has already committed the foul. Bilan heads to the bench on the back of that one. In his pace comes Gandini. Gandini with the screen. Oh, what a pass. Had to be absolutely perfect. Benjus hits another three. Sassari starting to dominate from range. Their lead is out to four. Good vision from Katic. Sassari, are they making a move to claim an early lead to take control of the game? Macon may have something to say about that. Into the corner, Arslan is fouled. Looks like he's hurt his knee as he's hit the ground. 
Sassari in the penalty, though. So we head to the line for two free throws. Let's have a look at the replay. Oh, yeah, it's just a contact between the two players that's caused the pain. Groschlin called for the foul. Thirteen point seven assist game against back and back in game day two for Galatasaray was Yit Arsenal's best performance this season. A role player within the Turkish roster struggling from the free throw line though, which you can't afford to do at this level. Prior to tonight's game, his three point shooting was at a higher percentage than his free throw shooting. Not a statistic you usually see. Katic drives the baseline. That's a tough pass, but Kroshlin does well to secure possession off it. Drives to the basket. Strong move as he floats the rock high off the glass. Six point lead for Sassari now. Final possession of this first quarter. Macon gets the three away, comes up short. Ten minutes down, Sassari in the driving seat. Six-point lead as they try and secure a place in the playoffs. End of the first quarter, Galatasaray 17, Dinamo Sassari 23. Here are your shooting stats from that first quarter. The one that really jumps out to you is that three-point shooting. 0% for Galatasaray, 56% from Sassari, 15 of their 23 from outside. Still plenty to play for, though, here in Istanbul. Interesting first quarter of action, as expected. More offense than defense on show here this evening. Both these teams known for their offensive firepower. Avengers is the man of the moment, though. Three from five from outside. Emantis Benjus, nine points, two rebounds to his name. Spisu also shooting well from the perimeter. Two from three. He's on eight points, two rebounds, and an assist for Galatasaray, as expected in our pre-game chat. Emil Jefferson with five points and three rebounds. And Daryl Macon with five points, two rebounds and an assist to his name. Still plenty to play for, though. Remember, for Sassari, everything is at stake in this evening's game. A win, and they'll make it through to the playoffs. If they lose, they're relying on that pressure. Interesting to know if the coaching staff from Sassari keep the players up to date with what's happened in Denmark. I wouldn't imagine they will. Ultimately, it's for them to win here. That's the job. Second quarter action underway here. Group A of the Basketball Champions League. Galatasaray 17, Dinamo Sassari 23 at the end of the first quarter. Shot goes up. Comes up short, but Kroshlin is fouled. And will take a trip to the free throw line as RJ Hunter comes in for Daryl Maycomb. Easy foul to call. Left hand and the body connecting with the hip of Kroshlin. Kroshlin at the line. Hits the first. Here comes the commentator's curse. Yet to miss a free throw in the Basketball Champions League this season. Philip Kroshlin. The Croatian is almost automatic from the charity stripe. Averaging 10 points per game. One of those great bench players that you can rely on to come in and make an impact on the offensive end. Valuable skill for every roster. Sassari's lead now up to nine, a game high nine point lead for the Italian team. Amish now. Looks to find Jefferson inside. The pass isn't there. And Arslan drives to the basket, but the foul's going to be called on Kroshlin. Clearly on the floor, so it'll just be a sideline possession for Galatasaray. The pass is a little bit too far for Jefferson to handle. As Badesh Amish. Passes out of bounds, it's on that roll, a little bit too much weight. 
A little bit less on it, and that would have been a great pass and an easy score for Jefferson. And just for three, real quick release, tries to convince the officials he was fouled. Absolutely no chance that was going to get called. Next to no contact, Hunter for three! Looks at Ben just as he connects with it to say that's how you shoot the triple. And uh, Hunter, one of the household names in the Basketball Champions League, played for Turk Telecom last season. Hasn't had quite the same impact here in Galatasaray, just averaging 11 points per game, averaged nearly 14 at Turk Telecom, but has the ability to be a real game changer. Crochely for three, no good, and it's over the backboard and out, so it'll be a Galatasaray ball. Oh, toes almost on the line. Not this time. Made no difference, though, as the shot was no good. As we see Gandini head to the bench for Sassari. Into the action comes Treya. Hunter in the corner for the three. Treya fighting hard with Jefferson for the rebound. Trice now. Uses the screen. Good ball movement. And Almaz can't hit the long three. Real confidence from the 24 year old. And just for three. Oh, and he's hit another one. You can tell he's feeling it here this evening. Amantas Benjus. Sassari's lead back up to nine. Benjus going to get called for the foul on that one. A little overzealous on the offensive end. And Amantas Benjus is a, a dream and a nightmare for a coach. Plays with such confidence as we see a replay of his foul on Olmaz. Plays with such confidence as he heads to the bench for the Italian team and Bilan comes back in. No coincidence, he's come back in when Williams is back into the action. Williams really struggled to defend Mido Bilan in the opening stages of the game. Trice puts the brakes on, floats up the teardrop off right with that attempt. Katic will slow it down. Drives inside, hands it off to Bilan. Bilan can't hold on to the pass, though, and you hear the roar of frustration from the big man. He knows that Katic pretty much gift wrapped that one for him. If he just caught the ball, that would have been a, an automatic two. Hunter now to Trice. Galatasaray try and find some kind of rhythm on the offensive end. Going to be a foul called. Offensive foul is going to be called on Jonathan Williams. I think that's going to be his third foul. Let's have a look at the replay. Oh, it's that left elbow, yep. Easy call for the officials as Treyer works so hard on the defensive end to try and front the post. Williams draws, drawn into committing the foul. Galatasaray with the timeout. Let's uh, listen to coach Memmen Mennun's First time out in the Basketball Champions League.
important phase of the game we're entering now. You just feel there's a bit of a tipping point here. Can Sassari open up that killer lead? Or will Galatasaray bring the Italians in close? Traying out, looking to feed Bilan, he does. Going to go up against Williams again. Double team comes across. Nice defense in the end. And a smart play by RJ Hunter gets the block. And the heads up play as he throws it back off the legs of Kroeschlin to keep possession for Galatasaray. In fact, off the chest of Kroeschlin. Look at that chase out block. Real smart play. And that's what RJ Hunter can bring to the team. Plenty of experience, 45 NBA games under his belt, RJ Hunter. Good quick ball movement, Motum, left hand is good, beats the shot clock buzzer. And you feel that Motum could be one of the keys here for the Turkish team this evening. Bilan looks to spin out, kicks it out, Treya fakes the three, hands it off, Kroeschlin for three. Oh, and it continues to rain for Sassari. Philip Kroeschlin with another long bomb. Takes his tally up to eight. Williams mid-range two is good. That'll be a sigh of relief for Williams, his first score of the game, his first shot of the game. Really struggled to get a foothold in this one. Katic drives inside, hands it back to Burnell, to Bilan. And an easy score. Beautiful, fluid offense from Sassari. Motum feeds it inside, splits the defender but travels. The defense is good from Treyer in the end. Williams almost there though. Maybe a split second too late to make that jump through the defenders because Treyer had managed to get himself in position. Burnell now finds Treyer. Treyer going to work against Motum. Double team's going to come across. Treyer needs to pass out of it and does. The shot comes up short, but Burnell scoops it up. Bilan, absolute easy score for Bilan, and he's in the right place at the right time. Again, six points, four rebounds in under 12 minutes of play for the Croatian. There's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul called in the midcourt. I think between Motum and Bilan, two big guys just got caught up with each other as they were trying to get back down the floor. Let's have a look at the play. The steal from Bilan. Motum putting his arm across Miro Bilan, trying to stop him from getting into the transition. And Bilan tries to throw him away. Let's have a look from this camera angle. Oh, that's the Bilan score. This is a play by Motum. Yeah, he's got his arm across, and Bilan's not happy. And Motum needs to be careful. That left arm came up pretty high. The officials are going to review this one to see what level of foul it is. Let's listen in to what the officials have to say. Hello. Hello. We want to review the last situation in the fast break, which is unfortunately like or uh, normal foul. You, get, you can make from the main camera. Yes. Okay, this, this, this is good. Uh huh. Oh, you can see, look. Nice after that. What you think? The first is holding by the big villain. Uh, uh, 12, 12 white. You can put one more time. Put, put one more time, please. Put, put one more time. No, the same, the same, the same is very good, yes. Go, 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 easy. Yeah, right. Yes, yes, yes. Because it's a double, it's a double. 
Okay. Remain double on Sportsman like and 21 on the shuttle. In the front court. Double on Sportsman like foul called. Both Bilan and Motum blown for an unsportsman like foul in that tussle. Seemed pretty fair. Maybe Bilan could feel a little hard done by as Motum was the instigator. But they both had a little bit of handbags. So that's how the officials have uh, concluded on that one. Back into the action straight away. Bilan now feeds burnout. Double team comes across and Galatasaray doubling down in the low post. Shot goes up from Katic is no good. Trice will use the long rebound to put some pace into the offense. Macon now. Trice looking for options. Macon so static. The Galatasaray offense just not moving. Hunter, corner three is no good. Galatasaray going to struggle to score if their entire offense is based on just spacing. Hunter steals it away though. Transition, hands it off to Moton. Offensive foul is going to be called on Hunter. Basket waved away. You can look at the shock on Hunter's face. He can't believe it. Be good to see a replay of this. Here's the steal as Katic loses his footing. I'm not sure I agree with the official's call on that one. I think that is hard done by for RJ Hunter. Tough to call in full game pace. But I think, uh, yeah, that was uh, a hard done by one for RJ Hunter in that situation. Sassari lead by 12, under four minutes to play here in the second quarter. Kroeschling tries to get it back to Katic. But Daryl Macon has quick hands in the passing lane. It'll still be a Sassari ball though as we see Kroeschling head back to the bench and Stefano Gentile comes back into the action. An iconic figure of Italian basketball. Herxel into the action as well for Galatasaray as Hunter heads to the bench. Gentile now pulls up, elbow jumper is good. Makes an impact almost instantly. And there's your sign of quality from the veteran international. So looking for options, hands it off. Motum now almost loses possession, floats inside and makes the best of a tough situation. Brook Motum. Six points for him. Sasser's lead still at 12 though. Bilan looking to go to work. Double team comes across. Good defense by Galatasaray, and that's going to be the key. Trice now out at the races. Looks like he was fouled by Trey, and nothing called. And Sassari come back the other way with an easy two-handed flush for Burnell. And that really is a heartbreaker for Galatasaray. Works so hard and end up with a two-point swing in the wrong direction for all the effort they put into those two possessions. Treyer going to get called for the foul on Williams. Sassari in the penalty, so that's going to send Williams to the line for two free throws. And yeah, it's that lazy right arm over the top, or that's how Treyer is trying to perceive it to the officials. That's the last play. Actually, great defense by Treyer. Just stood his ground, kept himself big. And there's the easy transition score for Burnell. Williams only 23% from the free throw line in the Basketball Champions League this season. Plenty of experience though, just 25 years of age, but has NBA experience, averaging five points and four rebounds for Washington Wizards. Scores both in his trip this time. Sassari's lead pulled down to 12 points. Galatasaray I want that in single digits if they can by the half-time break. That will give them a psychological edge. Burnell now. And the double team in the low post from Galatasaray. That tactic seems to be working well. And just for three. 
No joy. Bieland scoops up the loose ball. Is he going to get the score? Waved away. Shot clock violation. His coach, Pozeko, looks on in frustration. Correct call by the officials. Timeout has been called here in Istanbul. 28 to Galatasaray, 40 to Dinamo Sassari. Let's jump into coach Memnon's hunt. Important two minutes of action here for both teams. Galatasaray trail by 12. Dinamo Sassari can almost smell the playoffs. Remember, a win here this evening is enough for them to book their spot in the postseason playoffs here in the Basketball Champions League. Macon now back at the top, waiting for the screen to come across from Jefferson. Pick and roll action. Macon does well to get Gentile on his back, seals him out, takes him out of the defensive structure and gets the score. Sassari lead down to 10 points, Macon up to seven points personal. Double team will come across, there's no two ways about that. Out to Spisu, nails the three. And there's your problem. When Sassari have such a dominant big man like Bilan, it opens up the perimeter. Very easy perimeter shot. Spisu claiming he was fouled. Officials call nothing on that one. Off the leg of Bieland, so it will remain Galatasaray ball. Trice now inside, looks to hand it off, but hands it away instead. It's going to be another turnover. Sassari possession. And the way it feels is so much is on the shoulders of Travis Trice. Nothing really happening in front of him. No real options being created by his team's offensive system at the moment. And he's having to try and create them on his own. Bieland spins the baseline. The double comes across. Benjus feeds Burnell in the low post. Into Bieland. Too heavy handed. Burnell does well. Spisu for three. In and out. Another rebounding fight. Loose ball's going to fall in favour, though, of Galatasaray. And Bieland just makes a nuisance of himself on the offensive end, hustling for every offensive rebound. He just knows if he grabs the offensive rebound that low in the paint, he's hard to stop. Oh, quick first step. Kirksel is enough. And Kirksel just puts the Jets on to get past Burnell. Does well to use his strength to almost body Burnell out the way. Last possession of this first half. Six seconds differential between shot clock and game clock. So Galatasaray will actually get another possession. Shot clock at four. Speed suit for three. He's fouled. Williams, sorry, Jefferson jumping out and fouling him in that situation. As Kirksal and Burnell have a little coming together. There's a replay of the foul. Jefferson can't believe the call. Spies, who will head to the line for two free throws, though. Kirksal. Spoken to by the officials. 
about the maybe the level of aggression in the play. Coach Memnon, plenty to talk about in the locker room at the half-time break. Spies who hits the first of his two free throws. The reverse of this game, he had 22 points, five rebounds and eight assists, so he certainly enjoys playing against the Turkish team. Having a real step-out season, averaging two assists, sorry, two rebounds and three assists more per game this season. What can Travis try to do with it in the final seconds? Gets the shot away, doesn't get the score. And that is the half-time buzzer here in S. Just run, don't receive secret. Pass, then you should secret for a minute. 
Look, he flew. He's coming up fast and he ran to pick her up. He got it. Three pieces two down. Get to side and other place. Galatasaray'ın operatörü üçüncü sekiz puanlı. Galatasaray'da oyuna çıkan oyuncu. Bir numara Ferris Ters. Gelen oyuncu altı numara Barış Ermiş. Galatasaray'da çıkan oyuncular Burak Mertin ve Adil Cephis'in gelen oyuncular Aydar Kovmaz ve Jonathan Williams. Thank you. 
Sarda çıkan oyuncu Markos Pistri, gelen oyuncu Tony Kratic.
Second of the Stellar Hot Moment and Polish Irish, get an old Dunk for a Bell Maker.
Ve altı sırayla çıkan oyuncu üç numara R.J. Hatun, giren oyuncu altı numara Göksel'in Köksal.
Sonuçta 4 sene 80 bölü 1 Mosas sene 92. 